fact terms affecting delta o and delta t the first factor is oxidation state of the matter usually more is the oxidation state more is the value of delta second nature of metal atom or anion generally the order observed is 3d less than 4d less than 5d thus while going down the group from chromium atomic number 24 to molybdenum atomic number 42 the value of delta o under similar set of ligands increases by 50% third geometry of coordination and tie for the same metal and similar ligands it is observed that delta t is approximately equal to 4 by 9 times delta o the fourth factor is nature of ligands for this purpose ligands may be classified as weak wl or strong sl ligands obviously for strong ligands the value of delta will be more than for weak ligands in fact ligands are arranged on the basis of their power to cause crystal field splitting in a series which goes from weak ligands to strong ligands this series is called a spectrochemical series a series consisting of some important ligands is given below that is i minus is less than b r minus less than s c n minus less than c l minus less than sulfide ion less than nitrate less than azide less than fluoride less than hydroxide less than oxalate less than water less than ncs minus less than ch3cl less than pyridine less than edta with four negative charge less than ammonia less than ethylene diamine less than bipyridine less than no2 minus less than triphenyl phosphine less than cyanide ion less than carbon monoxide thus in the above series iodide ion is the weakest and carbon monoxide is the strongest ligand as cn minus in which sulfur is underlined means bonding with the metal is through sulfur atom hence ncs minus with nitrogen underlined means it is through nitrogen atom of the ligand let us now consider the case of an octahedral complex that is coordination number equal to 6 suppose a metal atom or ion m is situated at the center of a cube and three axes of geometry that is x y and z are passing through the six face centers so that origin coincides with the center of the cube where metal m is present as shown in the following figure now as we have seen in the figures of two sets of d orbitals that the axes passing through the lobes of e g orbitals that is d x square minus y square and d z square so here we can imagine that the total six lobes four of d x square minus y square and two of d z square are along these axes pointing towards the six face centers of the above cube further since axes make tangents with the lobes of the three t2g orbitals hence we can imagine that the total 12 lobes of the three t2g orbitals will be pointing 
towards the 12 edge centers of this cube. 